Det som får nu här är Shot Games på oss på IVA. Jämte med har jag Rich som ska förklara lite mer om deras OPA-system. Rich, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. I'd like to hear about your product. Alrighty, um, we're going to talk about a few different things today. Um, a couple different products offered by Wolverine Airsoft. Uh, first we have the SMP, which is uh, our flagship product. It's what, what we started with. And then we'll talk about Hydra, uh, which is a new product with, which we are just getting ready to release now. Uh, the SMP, which stands for Single Moving Part, is a single solenoid uh, direct fired system, uh, which means there's one solenoid and the air that fires the BB flows through the solenoid. The only moving part in the system, apart from the, the solenoid, um, is the nozzle. Uh, the nozzle slides back and forth. It's air actuated in both directions. There's no springs or anything, which means it will operate in an extremely wide pressure range and very consistently. Um, the air path up at the front here pushes the nozzle back. Uh, just talking about basic operation here. So at rest, the nozzle sits in the backwards position. Uh, when the gun fires, uh, the solenoid opens, air flows through the solenoid and pushes the nozzle forward. When, right as the nozzle reaches the forward position, an air pathway opens up and allows air to fire the BB. You close the, the, um, the solenoid, the nozzle cycles back, and you're ready to do it again. All of this is electronically controlled. <coughs> so, <coughs> we have a trigger board here. This is designed for a V2 gun. Uh, say an M4, MP5, it'll work in, in any of them. Uh, and then we have an FCU. Uh, we'll talk about this FCU in particular in a few minutes, but on the standard FCU you have two small dials uh, which you can adjust uh, to change your rate of fire and your dwell. That's really all you need. You can also set your uh, burst mode if you want different bursts. Uh, but the settings are extremely simple and uh, one of the really nice things about the system is that uh, it's not at all sensitive to if your settings are not uh, not quite perfect. Uh, the gun, it's an extremely robust system and will run even if your settings are not exactly how they should be. Um, so that's our SMP and now we'll talk a little bit about Hydra. Hydra is our newest product line. Uh, this will be out probably in uh, we're looking at April, probably, for the, the Hydra to be out. Uh, it works on exactly the same uh, technology, but it's been completely redesigned. Uh, so the airline is now internal. Uh, it's machined into the body. Uh, the final production version will have tooled disassembly, so the two halves will unscrew from each other as opposed to having the, the set screws. Um, the big thing with Hydra, though, is we have designed it to work with uh, both centered and eccentric or off-center air nozzles. So now this system will not only work with things like the M4 uh, and the AK V2 and V3 gearboxes, it will work with uh, V6, so a P90, it will work with V7, uh, the M14, and a lot of other off-center nozzles as well. Um, so again, it's just been, it's, it's the same technology, it's been redesigned, repackaged to be uh, more streamlined, a little bit more efficient. Um, the big announcement for today is that we will be rolling out a Bluetooth FCU uh, for Hydra. Uh, it will also work, be reverse compatible with the SMP. Um, this will be available shortly after launch of the Hydra and you will have the option to purchase either the standard FCU which we offer or the Bluetooth FCU for an additional price. Um, this is a prototype of the FC Bluetooth FCU. It's, it's fully functional at this point. Um, it will work seamlessly with the existing uh, dials. So whenever you uh, set it with the, the Bluetooth, these are a relative adjustment. So it, that setting becomes, when you set it with the Bluetooth, that becomes the setting for where the dial currently is, and if you turn it either direction, it will increase or decrease accordingly. Um, so that, that we're looking at probably May to maybe June, but we're, we're thinking probably May when the Bluetooth uh, will be available. The Bluetooth will be very secure. That's everybody's question. Oh, somebody's going to hack into my phone, or somebody's going to, you know. Uh, we will have... Uh, Secure password secured access. Oh, it helps if I have the battery plugged into the FCU. Um, so we'll have password secured access to the Bluetooth. Um, but in addition to that, we will have a <coughs> um, we will have a 
uh, a tournament lock system, so a, a uh, game organizer can put in their passcode and, it will, and how long they need the system locked for and it'll lock you out of Bluetooth for that long. Okay. Unless they put that password back in and unlock it. So it'll be very secure, it's very robust. Right now, the options we have are you can change your rate of fire if we listen to the rate of fire. Well, let's see if it reconnects here. <coughs> there we go. Now we can change the rate of fire. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, so we can set a burst. If, let's do a three round burst. So, will be different that you can have uh, what's on single and what's on uh, full auto. Uh, so, we'll, so if you want we, first and single instead. We, we plan to add that as well. There, there's a lot more features that are not in there yet yeah. because we're still we're still writing the code. It'll have a shot counter, both a lifetime shot counter and a shot counter that you can reset so that you can, you can figure out how many shots you okay. had during a game or whatever. It will have saved settings, so if you have different setups that you run, you can save your settings and you know restore them when you when you go back. Um, it'll have battery voltage monitoring, so it'll tell you what percentage of battery you have left. Um, it'll have a lot of features that currently are not in there yet, uh, just because we're still, I literally have a guy working full time on it as we speak, uh, <laughs> writing the code, so by the time I get back to the hotel tonight, we'll have an updated version that we'll, awesome, yeah. we'll look at. So if you want to come see if we have anything new tomorrow, then... I will, <laughs> we'll swing by, I mean... I don't know show. exactly what new features we'll have yet, but... Um, so yeah, there, there will be a lot more stuff in there once it's all once it's all finalized. But um, it is, you know, as you can see, it it's fully functional from a programming standpoint. It's just a matter of adding the different features in. <laughs> It'll probably look a little different as far as the layout as well. Yeah, yeah, but this, I mean, it's a function, all, so yeah, so. So, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that's the basic basic rundown. Obviously, you can set your dwell and all that, but you can't hear a difference if I do that. <laughs> Unless I do this and turn it all the way down, and then the, then the valve won't do anything because it doesn't have any dwell. Th that's um, one ten thousandth of a second. So it's not enough time to actually make the valve do anything. There you go. I was going to say, you have to get it up to about 4. Point, uh, you have to get it up to about 4 to 4.5 milliseconds before the valve actually has time to fully set. Okay. <coughs> so, you know. That's really cool. No, actually, I, I told you wrong. That was one. 100,000th of a second. Yeah, 10 millionths of a second, so <laughs> not much time. No. <laughs> but it's a, it's a very fine adjustment, so you can you can yeah. get it set right where you want it. Um, but yeah, so this is, um, maybe I should, um, I have another version over there that has an offset nozzle in it that might be, yeah, absolutely. Uh, as for pictures, at least. So right, we'd have to we have to pull it out of the case so we could <coughs> take pictures of it. But um, yeah, we have we actually haven't even put this online yet. I'll, I'll when I get back to the hotel, I'll put up the announcement that we're we're Not if we doing blue first. Well, we'll put it up <laughs> either way. But <coughs> I'm not. I, I've had a number of people stop by and explain it to them, so I, yeah. it would not surprise me if it's already getting out to at least some people that it's, yeah. uh, you know, that it's coming. So, um, yeah, it's a, uh, <coughs> and <coughs> yeah, there's, there, there will be lots of, you know, lots of both, like the yellow indicates that it hasn't actually sent that yet. Um, green indicates it actually sent and received the data, so it actually changed it. Um, if you, if for some reason there's a connection problem, it'll come back red. It'll stay yellow. You'll drop it, and it'll come back red because it says I wasn't able to actually set that value for you know, whatever. There's a connection problem. Reset your connection or whatever. So lots of um, it's a very professionally developed app. The guy that's the guy that's doing this, he's actually a personal friend of mine, but he's uh, 
One of the smartest guys I know. <laughs> the nozzle is actually a two-piece design. Oh, I, I do have it. How about that? So, all you do to change it is unscrew that. So that's our... Ah! I haven't had enough to eat today. My hands are shaking. It's okay, you just won't show up on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it just threads together. So, makes it super easy to swap nozzles out. And <coughs> again, so you can go above center, below center, doesn't matter. It's exactly the it same thing. Yeah. Um, and this just threads back together. Any other questions before we uh, close? No, real looking forward to the Bluetooth, so it's gonna be awesome. Well, I appreciate you giving me the chance to talk about it. I appreciate it for us to be able to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you.